I took the opposing view against screening for Barrett's esophagus for prevention of esophageal adenocarcinoma. Uh, you know, it's one of those things I don't really believe in. I do believe in screening, but I think there were some legitimate points to be made against screening right now. And a lot of it has to do with the tools we have available. Right now, what a gastroenterologist, what a physician has commonly used to screen for Barrett's esophagus is endoscopy. And all the data shows that endoscopy is not that good as a screening tool in terms of the way it's practiced, not enough biopsies are taken, and the tool is not that sensitive for detection of dysplasia within Barrett's esophagus or even carcinoma, which is a big problem. So we need to improve those tools before we embark on a large screening program. Don't want to start that without the proper screening devices. I think that was the big message, along with which you really have to get this right because esophageal cancer is not that common. So whatever you use really has to work very well.